I received an email from Rutlands offering me 20% off anything I wanted on the website. And it just so happens that I was in the market for a few more 600 mil clamps. So I got a four pack of 600 mil parallel clamps from Rutlands for 70 quid, 17 pounds 50 each clamp. It's got to be a bargain, hadn't it? I just had to tell you about it. But to make it more interesting, I thought we'd compare them against the Bessie and the Well Cut. So Bessie parallel clamps. Don't really need to say anything to introduce them, do I? They, in my opinion, set the standard for parallel clamps. They're superbly finished they work flawlessly every time i've never had a clamp fail me but they're quite expensive the well cut clamps i think are reasonably well known they're sold by amazon so for that very fact alone i assume that quite a few people have heard about them i bought a set of these last year and have been using them on and off they're they're not disappointing they're not as impressive as the bessie but they're not bad at all considering that they're half the price and the rutland clamps i've no experience of whatsoever I've bought some stuff from Rutlands in the past which has been okay and I've bought some stuff from Rutlands in the past which hasn't been okay. So let's look at the specifications of the three manufacturers together and see what the differences are. So the specs on the surface of things seem very similar. They've all got a clamping length of 600 mil, throat size of 95 mil, the rail size is the same 29 by 9 mil the clamping force differs quite a bit Bessie and Wellcut quote theirs in Newtons but Rutland's quoted theirs in kilograms so I've converted it to Newtons so that you can see the uh, make the comparison easier as you can see Bessie will achieve a clamping force far higher than the Wellcut or the Rutland's the jaw width is exactly the same with or without the covers. They all quote 50 mil, which is with the plastic cover. And the jaws are all 45 mil without the plastic cover. Warranty statements. I couldn't find a warranty statement on Bessie's website or from any of the well cut adverts that I found. But I did find Rutland's proudly claiming that their parallel clamps are covered by a lifetime warranty on the materials used and the manufacturer, the workmanship. Now the cost of these clamps differ quite widely as well. The Bessie clamps at the time of making this video were available singly for £56 each as a pair for £105 or in a quad pack for 182 pounds meaning the best price i could find for the bessie was 45 pounds a clamp uh, but i should note that the quad pack also came with a free box of forstner bits should that entice you to make the purchase the well cut clamps on amazon are only available at an individual price but to allow you to see make the comparisons on the screen i've merely doubled that up so the best price available on the well cut was well cut sorry was 24 pounds 50. the rutlands are only available as a four pack and their standard price is 119 pounds so 30 quid each if you buy an eight pack you can get them cheaper the price drops a bit but i haven't put that on here because the others aren't available in an eight pack but as i mentioned earlier the price that i paid for the rutlands on that one-off special offer was £17.50 a clamp, so £70 for the quad pack. So the design of the body on the Bessie you can see is much shorter here as compared to the well cut, much longer here 
and the well cut and the rutlands I think you'd be forgiven for assuming that they were both made if not in the same factory from the same mold or reverse that and run it again because the impressions on the outer casing are absolutely identical apart from the name also the well cut and the rutlands are both spring based on the back here against the bottom of the locking arm whereas the Bessie apparently doesn't need that moving around to the back of the clamps both the Bessie and the well cut have a hole right at the end of the clamp whereas the Rutlands doesn't now Bessie make a clamp extender that I happen to have here if you haven't seen one of these the idea is really quite simple that you take two clamps on one clamp you'd slide the head off completely pop it into the extender like so pop the bolt in bolt it in place then on your other clamp you take the head off turn it around to put it back on and then you have a double length clamp now as far as the well cuts concerned I'm yet to find a clamp extender bracket I've looked at all of the adverts that I can find and like I said I'm yet to find one perhaps they made it to fit the Bessie I've no idea let's have a go and see if it does fit it would be nice to know if it does well it certainly slides in yeah so that's worth knowing that the well cut clamp will fit the Bessie clamp extender so that's an interesting point to take into account when you're looking at purchasing one from one of these manufacturers both the well cut and the Bessie are extendable using the Bessie extending clamp bracket the Rutlands isn't because it's missing the all important hole at the back I suppose you could drill one but why bother two other useful features that the Bessie's got that the well cut and the Rutlands don't have that I think are worth mentioning let's say you're in the middle of a complicated glue up or you're about to start a complicated glue up and you want to get all your clamps set to the size that you need them to be so that you can just grab and clamp and away you go with the Bessie once you've set it to the size you want it at it will stay there and even smacking it around on the bench and the floor it still stays in position whereas with the well cut and the Rutlands they'll just return back to home the other feature I want to mention with the Bessie is on the back of the handle you can see there there's a socket to take a 6mm allen key so if you've got arthritis in your hand or you've damaged your hand or you just haven't got the grip of Arnold Schwarzenegger you can pop a 6mm allen key in the back and gain that extra bit of leverage to tighten the clamp up even more or indeed to undo it but in saying that both the Rutlands and the well cut clamps have got an oval handle whereas the Bessie's round so I personally feel I can get a better grip on these two than I can on the Bessie but I've never struggled with the Bessie but these two do feel really nice one other interesting point Bessie also make these accessories for the clamp that you just remove the plastic cover on and slot on the each end of the clamp so that you can spread the pressure a little bit more but they've also got an angle adjustment on them in case you need that and in order to fit those to the clamp as I said all you need to do is slide the little plastic cover off which is quite easy on the Bessie 
These accessories do fit on the well cut and the Rutland's clamp, but sliding the plastic cover off was an absolute nightmare. I had to prise them off on both of them. So not something that I'd want to do regularly, but I thought it was interesting that these two makes of clamp do accept this Bessie accessory. Now let's move on to something that's a bit more of a real world test. I've got a collection of off cuts here. Some bits are plain, some bits are still rough sawn from the timber yard. Some are just off of the saw, some are even off the band saw. So let's see how well each set of manufacturer's clamps perform when we just clamp them together as a simulated glue up. So I'll line up one end and then see how easy it is to adjust the into position and the stiffer the, stiffer the clamp is to move the more chance I've got to disrupt in the end that I've lined up and then how long does it take before the clamp bites and that was almost straight away and again on this side Yeah, literally straight away. So the the Bessies, as expected, very little pressure required to push the heads up against the piece that I'm clamping, and then as soon as I start tightening the handles, they bite down, clamp down, and everything's firmly in place as expected very little movement on the ends that are lined up. So once again, drop the timber on, line up at one end. So both heads slide into place really well. And again, the head grips really quickly. I've got to say, I do prefer those oval handles. I feel like I'm getting a much better grip on them. Yeah, all clamped in place. So no complaints there. So same again, line up this end. The Rutlands actually feel like they slide easier than the well cut. And again, they bite down almost instantly. And as per the well cut, the overall handles, I feel like I can get a real good grip on them. Now, interestingly, I saw another video on YouTube where a guy had some Rutlands clamps and they would not fully lock in. He could keep turning the handle, but that's as far as I can get it to go. And that is fully clamped. I couldn't feel any difference in the amount of pressure that I could exert on the handle and therefore on the clamp between the three. Even though Bessie say theirs all clamp to over 2000 Newtons more than the well cut or the Rutlands. All three felt as if they did an admirable job. So in summary then, Bessie 600mm parallel clamps work flawlessly as expected as they have done for me over a number of years. Considerably more expensive than the other two brands that I've got on the table. Best price I could find for the Bessie at the time of recording this video was the equivalent of £45 a clamp. Well cut clamps, I've owned and used these in my workshop for about 12 months and during that time they've not failed me. Very happy with my purchase. Half the price of the Bessie, £24.50 per clamp. Rutland's clamps, as mentioned, no experience of them yet but they look identical and feel identical in performance to the well cut clamps so I'm expecting them to perform as well as the well cut and at the price I paid for them £17.50 a clamp I feel at the moment like they were an absolute bargain so 
quite happy with the purchase so far, but it is early days. And as they say, proof of the puddings in the eating. So thanks very much indeed for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, possibly even a subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.